So what I've done is I've dressed the cable. I've taken the drive right cable, which you see here, with the connector on the very end, and I've dressed it a bit. When I say I've dressed it a bit, essentially I've added the butt splices to put the inline fuse in. I've added the male disconnect so we can connect up to the, to the positive. And I've added a butt splice on the ground and added a spade lug here. Now the best place to get a ground is right to the chassis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up this bolt here. And I'm just gonna apply the spade lug to here. I'm gonna tighten it down. And the positive, because I have this male quick disconnect on, I've added on this blue female disc quick disconnect to a place where there's unswitched power. Uh, when I say unswitched, it means whether the key's on or whether the key's off, there's still 12 volt power here. And I'm just gonna connect this up, and it plugs right in. And that's how you connect up the 12 volts and the ground you want to pass the cable through the engine compartment to the cabin. And you can do that by, there's normally a rubber grommet that you can actually push this through to the engine compartment. And that will get it inside the cabin compartment of the vehicle. This cable, you'll see that there's six pins there that goes through the drive right. And you make the connection the same way. Push it in. What you will notice though with the drive right display is that the battery light or the battery icon is one out. That means that we are wired to 12 volts and it is the system is working. Without the cable connected, you'll see that the battery icon comes on. That shows that we do not have power to the system. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate it. Uh, we wanna hold the mode key down. Now we've wired up the positive, the negative, and we wired up the read switch and we have to get a sample for the calibration. So we're gonna hold the mode key down, and you'll hear it beep. And you see it comes up to the setting screen. We're gonna press the mode key sharply until we get to the cal screen, and then we're gonna drive it up to 40 kilometers per hour. And once we reach 40 kilometers per hour, I'm gonna hold the set key so that it samples that many clicks per that, many, that much time. So we're getting up to 25 miles per hour. And I'm gonna hold the set key. You can see the cowl comes up and you can see the little done. And then what we can do just to check the calibration is we will run the speed down to, to 15 miles per hour or about 20 kilometers per hour. just to, as a double check for the calibration. And it looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the mode key again. What this will do is get it back to the normal mode. And now we're just in the current screen, which you can see right here. And that is the calibration. We've shown you how to install a drive right HD system. Uh, we've shown you how to connect up the positive, the negative, and the read switch. And this is Perry Dolan from Davis Instruments saying drive safe and drive right. Thank you.